<laughs> hey guys, sorry for the um, extreme close-up there. Um, I just finished my workout and it is Friday. So happy Friday. And sadly, I'm not uploading this vlog from Miami, where I'm supposed to be right now. Instead, I've been homesick with the bubonic plague, which is pretty funny since I'm talking about how I take my vitamins all the time and I never get sick. First time I've been sick in years and it happens so that I have to cancel my flight Wednesday where I'm supposed to be leaving for Miami um, because I was so sick. I just got progressively sicker since coming home from New York. I am going to blame a lot of this on New York and the fact that I think I slept one night while I was gone. Thank you to that lovely hotel with no air conditioning as much circulation as a cage for a cat. Anyway, I'm a little bitter about it. Anyway, I just finished kind of like a, um, I, I almost want to say a workout and a half. I did some turbo fire and I'll explain why I, I did a little bit extra, a teeny bit extra this morning. Because <coughs> it's kind of going back to what I was saying before. I'm really sorry about this uh, rat ass hair up there, but I did just work out. Mr. Flo, there you go, Mr. Flo. Whew. Um, I also shoveled my driveway last night. I, I, I'm all over the place, as usual. Um, but let me rewind for a little bit. So here's what's gone on this week. I was supposed to leave Wednesday morning for Miami. I'm supposed to be in Miami now and coming back, I don't know, after Valentine's Day. I think you're also probably understanding why I sound like a man right now. It's not me trying to sound like to me more. I just sound this way because I'm sick. Um, <coughs> and uh, one second, I'm just stopping my polar because um, I don't like it to continue to beep. So um, I got back from New York. When did I get back from New York? Friday. <sighs> Friday was a long day um, of travel because, of course, I was so anxious to get home. Taking off my chest strap. Woo! <laughs> I almost hit myself in the face. That would have been priceless. Um, so Friday uh, was a long ass day of travel. I don't even remember when I got home Friday night, but I know that our flights were like delayed and delayed and delayed. We were beginning to get the snow that we have now, Chicago. So then Saturday, um, I'm trying to remember. Um, I remember Saturday, um, I saw, that's when I saw Michael. And then he looked like he had a cold. So of course, you know, I'm standing like this far away from him. I'm like, if I catch your cold, and he's all like, you're not gonna catch a cold. And okay, I'm just gonna say, I think that added to it. Sorry, I'm just putting that out there. Being around somebody, supposedly, if you're six feet away from somebody has a really bad cold, um, which he did have a whatever, uh, cold bronchitis, something like that. So I come back from this whole week in New York where I didn't get any sleep. And I'm not exaggerating people. I think one night, one night or two nights out of being there, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday I came home, I got two nights of sleep. Sleep is so important for me. Um, that's, I've always told you guys, as long as I take my vitamins and get my sleep, I tend to not get sick. I tend to, you know, avoid this kind of crap. And I got no sleep last week, certainly was stressed, um, you know, excited about coming back for vacation. And then I had to have a day of travel where we were delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed getting home. Then I happened to be around my sick BFF, Michael. I'm sorry, Michael, I'm just gonna have to tell you that I still believe that that added to it. So then by Sunday, by Sunday night I was starting to feel crappy and I don't even remember when it started, but all I know is that Whatever day it was, I woke up and I was like <laughs> sore throat from hell. Um, and then it was, I don't know, it just deteriorated. I know that I, I thought I was getting better. I thought it was just kind of the beginnings of a sore throat and I was taking Zycam and everything. And I'm like, I will be damned if I'm not going on my vacation. I haven't had a vacation in over a year and a half. And let me tell you, <laughs> I need a vacation. I need to not work for a little bit. Um, So anyway, all that to say, I had my bags packed, had everything ready to go, called the, I had the limo ready to pick me up. It was supposed to be picked up at 
what time? Um, Wednesday at 7, which was not preferable to me, but, you know. And so I got up the night before, and I, I just, it was the kind of night where you can't even sleep without having a surf, uh, cough drop, you know, because you're, and then those cough drops are disgusting. They have, like, they're supposed to be, like, honey lemon. Instead, it tastes like carb sewage or something. I don't even know. So you have this thing in your mouth, and you know that you need it for your throat, but you're like, it, uh, I mean, it's just like, oh, yes, I'll have another cup of acid. Thank you. Please pour it down my throat because this feels so good. And then you can't sleep. <laughs> um, and all that to say, so I got up at 5 in the morning, and I'm literally laying in my bed going, what do I do? Do I go? And then I'm thinking about being at Jay's house because I'm flying into Fort Lauderdale. I'm staying at Jay's house with his wife, and then I'm going to drive down to Miami and stay with my friend. And I just kept thinking, I'm like, I'm gonna sh first of all, traveling when you're sick is the worst I've been there. I remember, I'll never forget one trip, and it was in D.C., and I had, to f I had to cancel all my meetings and fly home early, and I had like 101 degree temperature on the flight, and I was like this, <laughs> and I was just like <laughs> counting down the minutes until I could just get home in my bed. Sucks traveling. And let me tell you, being in a hotel room when you're sick, and you're in someone else's bed, and you just want to be in your own bed with your own stuff, you know, it just sucks. <coughs> I still have the cough left over. So I remember I got up at 5 in the morning, and I'm like, mother. Of course, there were other words coming out of my mouth. But I'm like, I cannot believe this is happening. I cannot believe I'm going to have to cancel my flight. I'm going to get hit with a $150 charge. And then I'm going to have to, you know, schedule it again. And I can't really schedule my next flight because I don't know how long I'm going to be sick. So a lot of swear words were happening. Called and canceled my limo. Called and canceled the flight. And then, um, yeah, I was in bed most of the day on Wednesday. I intended to be in bed most of the day yesterday, but um, it was weird because probably because I didn't have anything on my um, calendar and I was supposed to be on vacation. Kind of felt like I could sneak in my office and be invisible and just get some stuff done. That was a mistake because <laughs> I think I told Carla. I went in there around 10 in the morning, and the next thing I knew, just from tying up some loose ends, which shows you how much stuff we have going on, it was 4 o'clock, and I looked at the clock, and I'm like, hmm. So for all you people out there that are wondering why I haven't gotten back to your email, please understand, this is my life. And I don't want to not get back to your email. I just have about 1,700 of them every day to deal with in the morning. So... That said, I have rescheduled my flight. I finally felt better enough yesterday. Basically what I have left, oh, the kids are out sledding. We got a major snowstorm. I'll, I'll give you a peek in a second. Um, yes, so in addition to all of that, not only um, was I sick and had to miss my flight, but then we got this massive snowstorm, which I'm not complaining about. I actually am one of those people that likes snow, so I am not complaining about the snow. <laughs> in fact, you might have heard me say a second ago that last night I went out and shoveled my driveway, which added an extra 200 calories to my burn from my workout last night, which I worked out at home and I did butts and guts. Um, which remind me to tell you, in a moment, if I get there, um, I had my first kind of assessment um, with Michael when I came back. He was very pleased. Because I said to him, I was kind of joking, I'm like, would you have known if I was in New York and I like cheated and you know drank and didn't work out and stuff and I'm like you know can can you know that by looking at me if I was you know would you be able to tell by you know I don't know just looking at my body or seeing my progress or lack of progress I mean I don't know it's these people that know their stuff just know their stuff and he's like yes but we did like a little mini assessment and he was quite pleased so I'm not even going to lie, though. Here's the deal. Aunt Flo is on her way any second. Let me tell you. Last night, I may or may not have sat on my couch just sitting there going, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Like I'm counting down to cheeseburger and fries and pizza, I think. Um, but overall, i got to tell you guys, it's really not that difficult when I'm... <coughs> excuse me. Honest, I swear, I, I really... I enjoy what I'm eating. I've gotten in this habit. Um, when I travel, 
I, I know what I'm eating, how I'm eating. It was a little difficult in New York, which I'll explain in a second. Um, God, I have so much to tell you guys. Um, it was a little difficult for me in New York, but it really wasn't about making the right choices or having the availability of choices. It just so happened. <laughs> Excuse me. I just think my trip was cursed last week now that I'm, I'm saying this because um, the great thing about New York, which I love, is that, so say you're staying in a hotel, you know, and you don't want to spend all of these, you know, hundreds of dollars on room service, which is outrageous. Not to mention the fact, if you're like me and you've traveled for business a lot, room service gets really old, people. So many people on Facebook will see me traveling somewhere and, you know, they'll go, oh my God, you're so lucky, you get to travel. And I'm like, let me tell you something, okay? If I see one more room service menu with a club, you know, these are your choices. Chicken sandwich. Maybe they'll throw bacon and, and barbecue sauce on it. Steak, salmon, a club, a chicken sandwich, a burger. Um, for appetizers, if you're lucky, they have shrimp cocktail. What they usually have are jalapeno poppers, fried cheese. I mean, it's like it's like a glorified chilies, which there's nothing wrong with chilies. Let me tell you, I really like that boneless buffalo chicken salad at chilies. I digress, as usual. Oh, God, I love my coffee. And yes, I did have my genetics HD before my workout. So anyway, the great thing about New York is that when you go there, literally, when you're downtown, I say that because my, my friends that live in New York go, we don't call it downtown, Kelly. I'm from Chicago. In Chicago, you either live in the suburbs or you live downtown. So anyway, you can get anything delivered in New York. Anything. So what I usually do is I get to my hotel, I'll pull up Yelp, and I'll pull up what I want. Do I want sushi? Do I want, you know, American? Do I want seafood? Whatever. And then you hit this little button that says delivery and open now. You're set. Here's the bad thing. <coughs> I found this really great deli that delivered, you know, stuff like I could get um, fresh turkey, um, baked turkey, you know, with mashed potatoes. Of course, I wasn't having the mashed potatoes at the moment. It's just fantasizing about them. But um, they had like roasted turkey. They had this great grilled chicken. Um, and I was ordering that and getting, you know, several things at once so that I could just easily have my next meal. Very reasonable. And I felt a lot better about it. The thing is, I ordered from them the first two days. And the first two days, I was walking around with this horrific stomach ache all day. Just like this bloated something where you kind of feel like, I don't want to say the kind of stomach ache where, you know, I'm throwing up or anything nasty like that, but just the kind of stomach ache where you know that there's some mystery sauce that has entered your body. And your stomach is going, <laughs> you know, like there's something that's, that's just not right. So <laughs> I was so upset because the food tasted really good. It was much more reasonable, you know. I mean, I was paying like $12 versus when I ordered my egg whites and my coffee, egg whites and coffee cost $60, $60. Tell me in what universe you can explain food costs there. The reason I got so pissed and the reason I'm still pissed, okay, I've worked in restaurants, I worked in hotels, that is absolutely, there's just no excuse. That's when you're just gouging people, okay? I understand when you're at a nicer hotel, the price for certain things are, are higher. That makes sense, okay? People expect to pay higher. I've traveled and stayed at very, very, very nice hotels, at nice hotels, and then earlier in my career, some like, you know, I don't want to say a certain brand is not nice versus the other, but what I'm telling you is, typically, if you order something like eggs with no toast, no juice, and maybe just hash browns and coffee, the range for that kind of a meal tends to be, which is still very expensive, 25, 30 bucks. And I'm talking about at Hyatt's, at Hilton's, at, um, you know, boutique hotels, at <coughs> whatever. Um, where I was staying, I ordered egg whites, nothing else, and coffee, and it was $60. And I'm sitting there going, okay, you, there is nothing, I mean, that's just absurd. To me, I just don't care. I, I don't care who it is. There is no way you can justify that. Now, if I ordered a regular breakfast, like Eggs Benedict, if I had something, 
you know, again, I've worked in a restaurant. I know that there's certain ingredients that cost more. Avocados cost more than just salsa. Those, that's a higher cost item. It makes sense. If I said, I want a plate of avocado, that's going to cost something. Egg whites do not cost a lot of money. And black coffee does not cost a lot of money. You're talking about pennies. Charging me $60 for some schmo to bring me egg whites on a plate, I wanted to kick someone in the nads. And let me tell you, I almost did. But I'm just going to stop talking about it because it's making me need Botox and getting me very upset, and I'm trying to be happy today. But I had, that was just another part of my week. Trying to order food, everything's giving me a stomach ache. Then I order in the hotel, I ordered two chicken breasts. It was $100, two chicken breasts. Seriously? Kick me again when I'm down. Tell me to just grab my ankles. Whatever. So over it. I cannot stand being ripped off. You know, you expect it. You, you, you expect it when you go and you order sushi. You expect it when you go and you order a filet and you're at, um, you know, where do I go? Um, Morton's or, or whatever. You expect that your bill is going to be a couple hundred bucks. Okay? That makes sense. Egg whites and coffee for $60? Tell me how in the universe that makes any sense. That's where you should have said, okay, she's not ordering all the stuff that normally comes with it, uh, so why don't we just, you know, let's just charge 10 bucks plus whatever for the cup, whatever. I'm just so over it. It was so upsetting, it was so insulting. And the fact that I couldn't sleep because there's no circulation, there's no air conditioning, absolutely outrageous. So it was a very, very upsetting week, as you can tell. And then I come back, and I get sick, and I had to cancel my vacation. I'm supposed to be basking in 85 degree beach weather right now, but that's okay, because I'm leaving on the 19th. So you know what I'm gonna do? I can't control the fact that I'm not leaving yet, so instead, I'm gonna stay home, I'm going to get better, I'm gonna help my mom, because she needs some help, um, tomorrow. Mom's had her fifth chemo, um, she's been a little frustrated um, lately. A lot of you guys have been asking me, but um, she's, she's doing well, but you know, I mean, number one, the chemo has a cumulative effect. So with the fact that she's on number five out of six, and she's just like, you know, there's so many side effects. There's mouth sores, there's, <clears throat> um, there's mouth sores, there's dry mouth, she doesn't have any energy. She's like, I want to be able to get up and clean my house. It bugs me that I can't get up and clean my house. So usually I just have to school her on the phone and then, you know, she's all happy and stuff. Um, but anyway, we're going to go over there and help on Saturday. <coughs> and I have to make sure I'm better because that's the other thing about uh, folks that are going through chemo. That you really can't, they're very susceptible to germs. So like if my nieces and nephews um, have a cold, they can't be around her, I can't be around her with, um, you know, until I'm better. Oh, there's a cardinal out there. Um, here's the other funny thing. You know how I'm obsessed with my birds and why they don't like this new bird feeder? Not sure what happened. Maybe because the snowstorm was coming in and they're like, crap! It's going to be slim fixins around here. They are finally using my other bird feeder, so I refuse to go out and fill out the other two bird feeders that they love. I also am just going to note that my, um, porch has become a pigeon happy hour. Like, there were 12, we counted them, 12 pigeons out on my porch just hanging out last night in the storm. <laughs> anyway, I've already rambled on for 18 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. How did I get here? People used to say my vlogs were... <coughs> Then my vlogs were so long when they were five minutes. Then they got up to 10 minutes. Then they got up to 15 minutes. Now they're 20 minutes. It's because I'm not doing them as often. Maybe that's why. But anyway, um, I'm, over, I'm over it. I'm still, obviously, still um, uh, still got the cough thing going on. And, and by the way, for those of you that might be thinking, why are you working out if you're sick? You know, why aren't you in bed? I did make sure that I looked it up, and I asked, um, I asked Michael, I asked Dr. Mike, I asked all these people. The rule of thumb tends to be that if you're sick and your symptoms are the neck above, it is okay for you to work out. If you don't have a fever, it's okay for you to work out. If you have a fever, working out could obviously make your fever higher, which is a bad thing. But if you have like chest congestion, if, you, if you're throwing up, anything here or below, that means you shouldn't work out. All of mine is really just this ridiculously dry sore throat. So. Um, 
I did do uh, my cardio last night. I, I we were getting the snowstorm, so I wanted to go to the gym, but I also knew I was too sick to go to the gym. So I did um, Kathy's butts and guts last night, and then I went out and shoveled my driveway. So I burned like 800 calories the whole thing. Um, but overall, workouts are going great. I'm loving everything. I'm totally like in a groove. Um, and I'm not, you know, it's, it's just not that difficult. It's not that difficult for me to be eating what I'm eating. When I'm home, I've been tending to, you know, get the diet to go meals, um, which are fantastic. They take all the thinking out of everything. Although, I had to tell those folks that I'm not in Miami right now. Because if you were to see what's in that refrigerator, you would see it's a whole lot of nothing right now. Yeah, I have like no groceries. But anyway, so <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving my bags packed um, because I refuse to like unpack all of my stuff and then pack it up again in what nine days um, and I just realized that I brought out all of my a lot of you guys have been writing to be asking about um, what my favorite what are my DVDs that I'm using for at home and what are my favorites and why do I like them and so on so I brought out my big ass box but I'm already over 20 minutes, so we'll have to talk about that later. The other thing that's funny, <coughs> well, maybe funny to me, because I'm going crazy. Um, I took out my camera and everything from my suitcase, and I can't find my remote control. So my remote control for this thing is in my suitcase somewhere. And I knew I wanted to come out here and shoot this and say hello and catch up. Um, and I can't find my damn remote control. So I will have to find that. Um, later and I'll shoot another vlog tomorrow. But I hope you guys have a really great weekend um, and I will also make sure that I'm going to, sorry, that I'm going to go um, get my base tan on before I go to Florida. My God, that was one of the things I was concerned about is how pasty white I am right now because I haven't been tanning and I've been too busy so I'm going to make sure I go tanning when I feel better. But that said, you guys have a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow and hopefully I won't sound this much like a man.